Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another vlog. Today is April the 6th, I want to say. April the 6th, 11.20 a.m. We're getting our stuff together. It's officially the second quarter in the year. If you didn't know, the years were split up into four quarters because I used to didn't know this y'all. So just in case you don't know, I'm letting you know. So you got January through March. And then you got April, May, June, then July, August, September, and then September through December. So it's the second quarter of the year. And I just feel like the first quarter, we're all just kind of trying to either recover from the holidays, get into a routine, figure life out, blah, 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 blah. It's April now. We need to really set some boundaries and stick to them. So we're going to be doing a lot of like goal setting in this vlog, setting our intentions, just really getting our stuff together but i haven't set no go like i made my vision board but i haven't set like no goals you know for i want to start like breaking goals up into months weeks quarters you know instead of just like this big yearly thing so we're going to be working on i'm super excited one of the main things i need to focus on right now is figuring out what i'm gonna do with my clothes so if you watch like my spring reset video you know i got rid of my dresser and i really haven't dealt with the clothes that was in the dresser yet i just kind of like put them all in a really really big bag and was living out the bag because i went out of town a couple days later but now it's time to figure out what i'm going to do i'm thinking um temporarily because y'all know i'm moving soon so i don't want to go out and buy like this whole system but I'm thinking temporarily I'll just get like some cubbies and that way I can go through all of my stuff, throw out what I don't need or what's tore up or what's messed up and just keep what I wear. You know what I mean? Like get rid of, get rid of all of my like big baggy t-shirts with all the holes in it and all of that stuff and only keep what I absolutely need but I don't have space for it because I no longer have a dresser. So yeah, I think I'm going to go to Target and get some cubbies or something i don't know i never really go to that part of target where they sell that type of stuff at so i don't even know what i'm looking for i don't i have no idea but we're going to do that and i also have to get some sebastian some food because he don't have no food so i think target has like that cold food section for dogs hopefully if not i'm gonna to have to go to pet smart which i do not want to do so fingers crossed target has everything i need I really don't feel like changing my outfit, but I kind of look crazy. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. I just got on this sweater and then these sweatpants. Obviously, I'm not going in my house shoes, but yeah. Before I head out, I do want to make my bed because I have been doing a good job at making my bed. Sebastian, um, I, I want to make my bed. You're going to have to get up, buddy. Get up. Get up, get up, get up. You gonna help me make this bed? I don't know how the Just like that, the bed is made. Child, a dog think he can't lay on the ground. Since you can't get in the bed, you come to the couch. I also enjoy like doing a diffuser every morning. <sighs> Makes the house smell really, really good. All right. And if you watch that reset vlog, then you know I'm using the Centaur Drops from Amazon. I 
at first I thought it wasn't working because you can like barely see the smoke but since the TV is right there I don't even know if y'all can see that but I can see the smoke now but you probably can't see it on camera it's crazy it's so much traffic back there I don't even know if y'all can see because this light does not want to turn green like I don't understand it's so much traffic hopefully in this vlog I get to have a picnic I really want to just go outside and probably journal touch some grass I'm in the mood for that I'm really in the mood for that maybe tomorrow tomorrow's Friday let's see Ooh, mm. let me check tomorrow's weather this bin was an option and then I found this bin and then I seen like these things but I didn't know like how big they were then I turned around and it was one right here so I think I'm gonna go with this oh it's also one right here too so yeah these are a pretty good size um, oh and this, these are the $5 ones okay cool so I'm just mad because there's only one black left and I want to get four so we can have like two each so I'll probably just do this color get two of these and then two small ones so I'll get two of those and then two of these black ones. And you're not going to be able to see them because they're going to be in the closet. So it don't even matter. I just need somewhere to put the clothes. This brand, um, Bright Room, they got some nice stuff. This is a whole little like closet for real. And then this is nice. This is like over the shelf, like hanging. If you got stuff you want to dry, that's nice. I'm just going to get this for like when he ran out of food because when he run out of food i don't be knowing what to do so i'm gonna get this for like emergency food i've been wanting to try this so finally i can try this mm, i hope this is a good angle but i'm going to show y'all what i got from target i really didn't get much at all y'all basically seeing everything i got but i also just want to talk a little bit because I'm kind of like in a talking mood. I was so happy to hear in my last vlog, well, it was two vlogs ago at this point, the spring reset vlog, how so much of what I was saying really resonated with y'all. That really made me happy to hear because, yeah, sometimes you feel like you'd be the only one feeling a certain type of way or going through a certain type of funk or whatever, and you can feel alone. So it made me happy to know that y'all was resonating with me. But... I've been loving my space, y'all. I it makes me smile. Like I'm just it's so pretty. Like I love it. I love how I have everything set up right now. Like I'm so glad I was able to do this for myself and for just how I'm feeling because I am definitely like a product of my environment. If I'm in a shitty environment, I'm probably gonna be shitty. You know what I mean? And since every day I wake up smiling, just happy in a good mood because I love what I see, it makes me want to work and just be productive. Like I just let me let me just show y'all. Y'all done seen it, but let me just show y'all what I'm looking at. <laughs> Never mind the target bag in the mirror, but I just I just love it, especially my coffee table. My coffee table has become like one of my favorite things. Love it. Y'all, this is the Rihanna book, and I be switching the pages like every day or every other day or whatever, just depending on my mood. And this was my mood yesterday. Like I was feeling like I'm that bitch. <laughs> like, so yeah. Uh I just love it. I just love it. The tulips are starting to die by the way, too. But yeah, it just it just makes me really happy. I actually did not just buy this. I found this in my trunk. I been bought it, but I guess I forgot I bought it because I never went to look for it. But yeah, this is in my trunk. And I remember buying this book specifically because, you know, these are all vegan, plant-based recipes. But there was some towards the back that looked really good, like smoothies. Where is it? Let me see if I can find it. So there's like some juice recipes in there. 
And they got the pictures over there. Some fresh juices with all the like ingredients you need. A smoothie bowl, which y'all know. I've been liking the smoothie bowls lately. Oh my god, look at this. And this would just be is that Nutella? I need to know what this is. Mmm, it's a chocolate banana toast. And y'all, I've always wanted to like follow a recipe in a cookbook. So this is the perfect one. And it's also just so cute. Let's let's go put this in the kitchen. I've had this like book stand for a minute. It's from Hearth and Hand though. It also comes from Target. So I'll sit that right there. So cute. Love that. I just hate that they put these stickers on there. Like why? Why must you add? I'm not even gonna try to do that right now because I don't have the patience. I got these in the last vlog when I was in Jacksonville, but they were also in my trunk, so I'll start taking these tomorrow. I know I got the two black small storage bins. These are, I guess, 11 inches. And I got two of these tan colors, which are 13 inches. Very excited about this sunscreen. It says it's supposed to be a sun protection and a makeup primer, so we'll be trying that out. And I was not supposed to buy this, but y'all, y'all know the big air diffuser that I just had in my room? This is a baby one. This one is only $25. Good morning, y'all. Disregard how I look. It's okay. Y'all remember these Loewe glasses? I have to send these back before time is up. This pair, super cute, but I need to send these back today. I need to figure out how to do it. I wonder if it came with like a return label. Okay. I'm very sad to announce, just like every other return I've ever had to do, I missed the return date. So, if y'all want to buy these, I'll be selling them because I just, Sweet thing, your daughter is about to be 15. She don't want to be a princess. She don't want to be no damn princess. Yes, she does. What, she want to be a city girl? Period. <laughs> so these are the glasses. They're super cute, like for summertime. How freaking cute. So I paid like $310 for these. But yeah, these are three hundred and ten dollars. But I am not listening to her. They were three hundred and ten dollars, but I'll sell them for two hundred. They still got the little case. So I am getting my hair done today. I'm super excited about that. I'm getting some plaques. I was supposed to get them done at one. However, I'm getting them done now at three. I've never. Courtney, I'm trying to talk to my vlog. Save your comments for later. <laughs> so yeah, I've never gotten my hair done so late in the day. But she she pushed me back later because she said more people would be able to work on my head. You know, at once if I come a little later. So it shouldn't take too, too long. We shall see, but I just got to get my hair done. I have not been feeling myself. I just, and I don't really want to deal with my hair. That was the whole reason why I got the faux locks. I just, I need a break. I really, really just need a break. So we're going to get these braids. Hopefully I'm in love with them. And I told the lady, I was like, they don't have to be knotless braids, but I just want them small. Like not no big ass old school knots, but I can have a little knot because with the little knot, they'll last longer. So we'll see what we end up with y'all. So that's today at three. It's 12.15 right now. So. 
on the way to go get my hair done. Say I'll get there at 2.40. It's currently 2.35. She asked me to come like a little bit earlier. So that ended up working. Ugh. It's Friday. People outside. I want to be outside. I want to do something tonight. I want to like smoke a hookah or something. I'm going to get my hair done. I'm claiming that I'm going to love it. Let me over. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to be outside. I want to be outside. So we'll see. But I just wanted to let y'all know I was on the way to get my hair done. Um. So yeah, I will see y'all in a few hours okay i am here y'all it's some good um places to eat around here they got a freaking where am i supposed to park at okay i'll park over here they got a captain d's over here i haven't had captain d's in years definitely they got a jj's too i'm probably gonna go to jj's This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit delivering service. Fresh takes the hassle out of meal time this spring by delivering pre-portioned ingredients and easy to prepare recipes right to your door. Skip the checkout lines and get outside in the warm weather because HelloFresh has dinner covered. As you see, everything you'll need to prepare these meals come right in the box. With HelloFresh, you're getting seasonal ingredients picked at the peakness of ripeness for a quality you can taste. Ingredients travel from farm to your house within seven days so you know they're fresh. HelloFresh has definitely made me enjoy cooking more because I'm always looking forward to the different recipes they have for me. You'll never get the same recipe twice unless you choose so. Everything is just so different. It tastes so good and they always have like a, a special sauce you make to put on the food and I'm a sauce girl. Also, while preparing your HelloFresh meal, this could be the perfect time for you to bond with your kids or your partner or anyone you love. This definitely brings people together. Cooking, great meals, and then eating together as a family is one of my favorite things to do. If HelloFresh sounds like something you're interested in, then no worries because I have a coupon code for you. You can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code, ChelseaJanae50, which will get you 50% off plus free shipping on your first box. sure you head to hellofresh.com and use my code chelsea janae 50 for 50 percent off and free shipping on your first box good morning good morning good morning good morning y'all yesterday crazy obviously your girl got her hair done don't 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 talk to me okay like respectfully 
do not talk to me these are the best braids i've ever had in my life like i don't even know how i can show y'all this masterpiece first of all do you see what a braid stop at and i messed up the tips last night y'all my bonnet curled the tips but do y'all i don't know if do you do you see this come on come on it's oh, wait 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 look at this when i say i want small braids this is what i mean y'all i have so many braids in my hair they're so long like this is this is what i be talking about yeah yeah it's raining i wonder if y'all can hear it anyways i'm so in love with my hair like i'm just so happy that I just randomly decided to get my hair braided. And let me tell y'all how this even came about. So when I went to the Pretty Little Thing event, I met this girl named Tamar and we followed each other on Instagram. And she was getting her hair braided and she was posting them like braiding. And it was like so many people working on her hair at one time. So I was like, girl, girl, what's going on with this? Let me know. I wanted to know about pricing and just like, you know, like I just wanted to know what she thought about them but she kind of took a well it was kind of early and she probably hadn't seen her like messages so she tagged the people so i went to their page text them like hey well, what's up can you do my hair and yeah they ended up doing my hair that same day and um i love it i absolutely love it like y'all these braid like look at this look it is it's perfect they're so long they're so small and i only paid 300 dollars. and i say only because i've paid upwards to like 450 for knotless braids that did not last i am so confident in these braids and them being able to last and they just they feel like real braids if you know what i mean like they feel like quality work they look like quality work so i'm just so happy and i don't know how i started this vlog off but when i got back home from jacksonville on monday i went a couple days probably like three days just laying in bed with my hair sticking on top of my head just like ugh like i need my hair done because when i don't have my hair done i'm a bitch i am a complete bitch because i need my hair done like i need my hair done i i, I work I talk to myself on the camera all day like I need my hair done. I can't just I need my hair done point blank period. So yeah, I got my hair done and I'm so happy I did. I will definitely be back. I'll have their information. Their um I'm gonna leave their number. If y'all don't have Instagram, I'm gonna leave the number and I'm gonna leave the Instagram back in down in the description box. These people were so sweet and so nice and they all just work together to get everybody's hair done and one thing i really like because at one point i had like four people on my head they all braid the same no braid is bigger than the other no braid look crazy every braid is in line and in sync love them they don't have these like outrageous prices i will be back definitely so if you're in the atlanta area or Atlanta and you look for somebody to braid your hair and they I, I was there for a while y'all so I watched a couple people go in and out get a couple different styles like whatever you need they got you today is Saturday and it's a gloomy day it's raining but I'm 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 in this vibe today like sometimes you know when you want to go outside you be like oh the weather's so no 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 I'm in this vibe I'm about to light me up some candles and straighten up a little bit because girl it's a mess in here like like it's not it's not bad the counters need to be wiped down i'm gonna take these y'all remember i showed y'all these at the beginning of the video the laser focus by ollie take these just to see what is given how many come in here 36 how many do you supposed to take i'm thinking two maybe yeah take two i also need to finish my walmart order because tomorrow is easter y'all which means your girl is cooking. Chelsea girl, if you watching this, I got me a 50 pack face mask. <laughs> because my girl don't play. You cannot 
you can't get your lashes done without a mask. And like the last two times I had to ask her, like, can I please get a mask? And yeah, I got my pack. By the way, Kelsey is renting a special $100, any set, any length, all that. Definitely check her out. Her information is always in my description box, like always. And my girl be booked. I can't get my lashes done until the 28th, y'all. The 28th. And today is like the 8th. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. I miss your touch from your hands and your body. It hurts so much to think of you as someone else. Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet over my myself. We know with you. All right, everything is decent. I lit my candles too on my coffee table. That one is the Bond Number no. Nine Nomad. It smells so good, and this is just a random stick candle I got from CB2. Yes, it's clean. The counters are clean. I'm happy. I need to put a load of clothes in the washer, and I also need to unpack this suitcase. All right, so we're about to do. I feel like I need to lift y'all up some. Mm. Now, oh. I swear to God, we're back where we started, but whatever. Okay, so we're about to do a product empties little segment because I wanted to do like a product empties video. I'm not going to do it, and I need to throw this stuff away, so let's just do it right here. So the first thing is this Caudalie, um, like beauty elixir. Looks like this. I picked this up from Sephora, I believe, during the last VIB sale. I wanted to try this out to see what it was about, and I really, really enjoyed like doing my skincare and then spraying this at the end. So during the Sephora VIB sale, I definitely will be picking this up. It just makes me feel like luxurious. Like I just had like a real spa day. It smells so good, and I just love the way. The mist feels over my face. Next thing is a makeup item. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Power Grip Primer. Really enjoy using this. I believe I've already repurchased this. This is like a dupe to the makeup grip. The makeup. What is it called? The Milk Makeup Power Grip Primer. This is a dupe for that. And I honestly like this one better. So, yeah. And this is like ten dollars i believe they came out with a pink one that has like hyaluronic acid in it now so i'll probably try that once i'm done with my other one next up we have next up we have the miel drop I like these i think they work i just need to reach out to the lady that i was getting my hair oil from because that's the one i prefer i've been using it for years and it has grown my hair but this one works as well when i'm in between getting oil from her i'll use this the next thing is this belief the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I used all of this and I liked it. I just, I'm still, I think I found my, my go-to moisturizer. But I've just been looking for a moisturizer and I'm absolutely obsessed with one that's not too oily and have your face looking greasy. But one that's also not like water-based because I feel like water-based products kind of dry my skin out. So, I think I found the one I like. So, I like this one. It's okay. I probably wouldn't repurchase it. Next up, we have the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castell Soap in the Baby Unscented one. This is my absolute favorite one. I clean my whole entire body with this. This stuff is so, so, so good. I will always repurchase this. Um, I love this stuff. I absolutely love it. I know a lot of people love the peppermint one, but me personally, the peppermint one just dry me out way too bad. I already got dry skin. Baby, it has me dry. And when you don't feel like using 1,200 soaps in the tub, you just want to use one to do everything, this is that soap. You can clean your private parts with it. You can clean every part of your body with it. It doesn't dry me out. It has me squeaky clean. It has me squeaky clean like the peppermint soap without that menthol-y feeling and without drying my skin out real bad. So, love, love, love this. 
Next up, we have the Dr. Dennis Gross Extra Strength Pill Pads. I live by these. I love these. I can tell in my skin when I don't use these. Like, I have to buy these. And I just hate that because they're expensive. This was a 30 treatment pack. And this is like $88. They are expensive, but they definitely work if you have, like, textured skin. Maybe, like, hyperpigmentation. These are really, really good, y'all. Really, really, really good. If you have sensitive skin, you may want to get, like, the um, regular strength ones. But I love the extra strength ones. Absolutely love them. Next up, this is my favorite intimate wash. Get it from Target. It's by the L brand. It is the foam wash. It says no fragrance, no sulfates, no parabens. I just really like this. I've been using this well over a year now. And... I just really, really like this. I just pump it into my hand. I use my hand to clean my parts and it gets me clean. I absolutely love it. Yeah. This was a random pickup for me that I got from Trader Joe's and I actually really enjoyed it. This is the Trader Joe's Vitamin E Oil Blend. I really enjoyed this oil. I wish it came in like a bigger bottle. Definitely next time I go to Trader Joe's, I'll be picking this up again because it just, it was just so good. They say you can use it on your face, your hands, your legs, your feet, anywhere basically. I would use this like when I got out the shower, like on my arms and my legs. And I really like the way this just like moisturized my skin. So yeah, I will be getting more of that. Next up we have this Tower 28 Lip Gloss in Pistachio. Child, the battery went dead, but I'm back. I was telling y'all about this Tower 28 lip gloss in pistachio. This is like my favorite lip gloss. And I got added to their PR box. I, I got added to like their PR list. So every so often they send me these. So I haven't had to buy one, but I will. If they stop sending it, I will buy it because I love this lip gloss. Like I love this lip gloss. Mm. I like the formula. I love the color. It's nothing in here, y'all. <laughs> Since we on, like, lip glosses, this is the next one. I love this formula of these lip glosses, y'all. This is the NYX. This is Milky Gloss. And this was the color Milk It Pink. This is another one. I, like, used all of it. Lip gloss was not this brown color. It's more like a pink color. But, you know, when you got your, um... Your lip liner and you dipping and dipping. It just gets, the color gets messed up. But I love this formula. This next gloss I will not be repurchasing. This is the Fenty Skin Cherry Tree Conditioning Lip Oil. This just went extremely too fast. I believe this was like $20 maybe. Maybe more than that. And it just, it just went too fast. Like it went too, too fast for me. And I would only use this at night. I would keep this in my bathroom like once I'm done with my skincare to have something to put on my lips. And it just went extremely too fast. Like very fast. It says that it's, yeah, it's .19 fluid ounces. So that's extremely small. The next product is this Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil. Love this. This was in the unscented one. Um, yeah, she's... She's not all the way gone, but I'm done with it because this is one of those products that you cannot leave the top off. I left the top off and it just, the consistency just got like really weird. I'm glad that I was almost finished with it. I will definitely repurchase this. I love this. And I like to sometimes get like my moisturizers and unscented because y'all know I'm a perfume girl. I'm going to spray perfume and sometimes I don't want things to like clash. This next product um, I got during the, well, no, this next product I got gifted in PR. It's the Milk Makeup Hydro Ungrip Makeup Remover Primer. When I first got this, I was like, mm, I'm glad they sent this. It's okay. I will not be repurchasing. I loved this stuff, y'all. I really love this stuff so much so to where I probably end up purchasing it with my own money it just you only need a little bit and it just removes all of your makeup so good next thing is my youth to the people face cleanser love this love 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 this stuff 
it's so good i feel like this really worked on my skin i feel like my skin really enjoys this cleanser i just got a brand new bottle of this because your girl will be working with youth to the people i got a coupon code too this isn't the sponsored video but if you want to use my coupon code you can get 20 percent off their website all of the products so i'll have that down below and i'll have this listed down below so you can just click it and buy it and use my coupon code I love this face cleanser. I feel like it brightens up my skin. It just makes my skin look really good. And I just really enjoy it. And it's cute. So that's a plus. Um, I tried the La Roche. The La Roche. I forget what it's called. But I think it was an okay cleanser. I just didn't see any changes in my skin. I feel like I didn't see, you know, it just, it just cleansed my skin. I didn't see any, like, you know, any changes. So, yeah. And last but not least, it's just a toothpaste. I don't know about y'all, but baby, I'm gonna get every single drop. Out of, like, look, <laughs> look how thin this is. Don't, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the Crest 3D White um, Charcoal Toothpaste. This is the one I like to use. I'm also looking for recommendations for toothpaste. Let me know what y'all use um, and what y'all like to use because I'm willing to try something different, but I really do enjoy this one. So yeah, that was all of my empties. Let me know if y'all enjoyed that because once I start collecting more empties, I can just every so often just pop that into a vlog instead of trying to make it a whole entire video because first of all, it takes time to collect empty products. Like it really, really do. So yeah, let me know what y'all think about that. Y'all, it's still raining. I'm about to call Kia because she just got an iPad. Her iPad is so cute. And I want her to help me with mine. Oh my God, it's Saturday. She at work. Y'all, I be, I be to her when my friends get damn jobs. Like, what you mean you can't talk to me? What you mean you gotta call me back? All right, so, oops. We're going to fill out the journal. I, I should probably put some lotion on my hands, huh? Do I have some right here? I don't think I do. So this is just a journal I bought off Etsy. And if you get closer, I don't know how good y'all can see this, but this is April. You have your top priorities. You have your to-do and errands. You have deadlines, important dates main focus of the month and then over here you will fill this part out like at the end of the month you have accomplishments i'm grateful for challenges lessons you learn how can you improve next month what didn't work what worked well and your favorite moments so we're going to fill this part out um one top priority for me this month is to make my bed every morning so i like to make it big so that i'm able to write as neat as possible make bed every morning that's one. The next thing is to, I want to go to the gym at least three times out of a week. It's seven days in a week. Starting Monday, I want to go at least three times out of the week. So, gym, three eggs a week. Another top priority for me is to cook more. So, I'm thinking like it's seven days in a week cook at least four days out the week. So, cook four days out the week. Need to put my jug out to drink more water, so drink more water. Alright, so 
main focus for this month. So top priorities and main focus is kind of like the same thing for me. Um, let's move down to important dates. So on 420, I have an appointment. A P P T. Um, it's actually a dentist appointment. So let me put dentist D E N T I S T, and then 4:28. I have a lash appointment. I think my sister is coming here on four. I want to say she's coming four eighteen. Sister comes. So I'm actually really excited about this more than the monthly like overall planner. I'm going to focus on like these dailies. Like today is Saturday the eighth, and I'm able to write my affirmation. So I'm going to fill this out. Let me think of an affirmation. My favorite affirmation right now is I am capable of doing hard things. So let's write that. And the second one will be to edit tomorrow's video. Edit vlog. The next one is going to be to wash clothes. I got so many clothes to wash. Wash. Lows and then start cleaning room. It's like with just like with anything else in your life, you just have to be wanting to do it. You have to want to do it because it's easy just to like do this this one time and never do it again. But this is something I want to do. So, yeah, I'm excited to, you know, do it. And then I'm pretty sure I already showed y'all this. I manifest the life I want. 90 days of manifesting. And it's really simple and I like that. You just write the date and you write today I'm manifesting. And you do that for 90 days straight. If you want to, you can write the exact same thing or you can switch it up. So I'm about to fill this out. Yeah, I just feel good. And just know that whatever you're doing is never too late because I'm usually that person like, oh, it's the eighth day in the month. Like I could start next month. I could start next month. No, you still have time. Start today. Whatever you want to do, just, just start. Just absolutely just start. And I'm drinking this caramel water. This is my first time having the berry cherry one. It's pretty good. I just got a package. I'm absolutely hoping it is the Brandon Blackwood bag that I ordered. Matter of fact, let me just check. Oh, I deleted Google off my phone, email. You know why? Because I'm out of storage. This is absolutely not the Brandon Blackwood bag, but it's okay. Cause I'm excited about this too. Excited about this too though. I got that um y'all finna see. Okay, so I got this oil. I heard Kyra talking about this and a lot of people on TikTok specifically talk about this pink beach oil. So Let's see what it's giving. I don't know if they were talking about the scent of the actual oil or... Ooh, it's pretty. Look how pretty that is. Got a pump on it. good it kind of smells like um like a coconut oil maybe it's definitely gonna give you like a shine it 
it smells good. It's not like groundbreaking, but yeah. But I like it because they actually do give you like a nice shine to your hands. Okay. So we got this. And then the next thing, and I don't think they sell the oil um, in store. While I was on there only looking for the oil, they said this was back in stock. This is the Centaur Bloom. I've never even smelled this scent because Target never has this one. I think this is like the most popular one. So let's see. Mmm. It got me wanting to take a shower. I love Centaur. Like, I love Centaur stuff. That smells too good. Definitely trying this out today. So, yeah, that's what was delivered. I fell asleep reading my book and it's not because it was boring I think I'm just so comfortable <laughs> oh I think I just might have been like way too comfortable because it's like super cold in here and then it's raining so like the rain sounds mm, 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 mm. mm, mm, mm. y'all Dion just came here and interrupted the piece. He came through the door. First of all, I just turned the heater on because it's so cold. <laughs> but he just came here talking about let's go to Victory. Is that place even called? No, that place is not called Victory. That place is called Varsity. It's Go called home. it's called Varsity. I don't know why that's on his mind. Okay, now. Long time. I've never been there. I thought you went there before. I never been I guess we can go and see. I always wonder what it looked like in there, so. It's like, bro, it's on a movie somewhere in ATL. I can't remember. It's like, it's a two story place. You just gotta see it. It's just the restaurant? Yeah, it's the restaurant, yeah. Hmm. I'll find something warm to put on because y'all, it is cold. Yeah, it's cold and rainy. Let me see how many degrees it is outside. I got on this Essentials hoodie. But Black Bee just collected so much dust. Look at that. And then I want to wear these shoes. I bought these a while ago, but I never wore them. I thought they looked like very ugly, but I'm going to wear them because I can't get my money back. So we're going to wear them. Mojave Ghost is the scent of the day. Mm. That's probably why I'm almost done with this. I love this. <laughs> Like, look, I got this right after Christmas. This is crazy. This is the fit. These jeans are from Pretty Little Thing. And then these shoes that I just showed y'all. And then the Essentials hoodie. Yeah. Everybody know the best ice cream in the world is cookies and cream. That's what you got the outfit. Cancel order until your delivery. This special merch we can't only guarantee you from if you cancel before the merch you have accepted order. Who got cookie dough? 
But if if I could get two scoops, one scoop would be cookies and cream, and the other scoop would be cookie dough. So. We're about to go to this place called Varsity. We're going to see. Bang, bang. I need something on my lips. We're here, and this place is giving me the heebie-jeebies. All right. Let's go. Car only, no cash. The menu, $27. The canned chili, the varsity chili. Interesting. And this is the eating area that we're gonna be going to. Y'all, we got our food. Go. Wait, don't eat. You gotta put your hat on. Mm -hmm. Gotta put your hat on. It's right by the house. Yep. Up there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that we got the hat on. I'm gonna try the orange soda. I think the orange soda is supposed to be like. No. Yeah, you thought it was great. This is not orange soda. It's like a juice. Mm. I got fries. You got the onion rings. Are you right? Yeah, definitely. Some ketchup. Mm. Mm. Very good. Onion rings. But I don't eat onion rings. You like your little favorite. Be for real. Uh, no. I'm gonna eat, and then I'll be back with my final verdict. Oh, and chili cheese hot dog. Okay, one out of ten. Uh, I would give it a. Uh, I give it a four to five. Oh, that means it's horrible. I, mean, I know. I mean, the five is good. I will come back. I'll give it a I'll give it a, a six and a half. Like it's cool. I would never have to come back here ever in my life, but Watch it was it. a cool experience. Like look at my hat. I think I, think I will come back for these. These um let's see. The, the um, is good. What are those called? Onion rings? Yeah. Yeah. It was cool though. Good experience. Mm -hmm. Like I'm a tourist. To get to try the hot dog because then I put mayonnaise all over it and I would rather get hit by an 18 wheeler semi truck before I eat mayonnaise. Now we're about to go to this place. I got saved on my TikTok. Let me show y'all. Hold on, hold on, y'all. I started making like these like collections on TikTok. This one. This place right here. Atlanta, I got another one for y'all. Family fun and friends. You have so much fun. Tell me that doesn't look like the coolest place in the world. So we're on the way there now because it wasn't far from where we already was at. Yeah. Seems like Mr. A1 Parking is struggling a little bit, you guys. This is a tight spot though. But I could do this with my eyes closed. <laughs> Oh, that makes you laugh. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So it's called 
sub zero nitrogen ice cream. Let's go in. Do they have somewhere for us to sit? Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Well, I think he's going to make it it's so cool. Wait, that's going to turn into ice cream? Oh! Oh my goodness. So cool. Look, at I'm not impressed. Uh, oh, that's what make it cold. So I got my ice cream, I got cookies and cream. I had no idea it was gonna make it in front of us. Pulling up to Walmart to get our pickup order so I can cook tomorrow. This Walmart, this Walmart is weird. I'm back home. I got a bunch of stuff from Walmart because y'all, why does it cost so much money just to cook one meal? I know I'm cooking tomorrow for Easter, so I mainly just got the stuff for that. Bro, cooking is expensive. It used to make sense to like cook food because it, it was supposed to be cheaper than like eating out all the time. But girl, not no more. I'm about to go through this stuff and just leave what I need out. Bro, I bought mayonnaise because they told me they didn't have it. So now we got more mayonnaise. Sun-dried tomatoes is something I needed. This looked real intriguing. This is Himalayan salt with black pepper and garlic. So, randomly picked that up. Honey Jiffy cornbread for tomorrow. And then I got some complete seasoning. And then I got hamburger seasoning. That was just a random buy. I just got some chicken broth for tomorrow. A cabbage. What else? What else? What else? Chicken thighs. This was a random pickup too. These sweet potato um tater tots. That was a random buy. Child, this is Walmart giving stuff away again because I did not order these. I didn't even order shrimp at all, but. I'll take them. Alexa, play melodies from heaven. Shuffling melodies from heaven and similar songs on Amazon Music. Hey y'all, good morning. Happy Sunday and happy Easter. Oh my God. It's so weird because never in my life has Easter ever like moved me like this. Like I grew up in a church. I used to go to church like four or five times a week. Like we used to be at sunrise service on Easter Sunday and I've never felt this way in my life. Like I'm just growing so much and just maturing and just really getting my own real relationship with God like I woke up so emotional this morning like because if you're a believer then you know like this is the day that like 
Jesus rose in all this past weekend. He went through so much torture and died. And it was, it was crazy. So when I woke up this morning, and then y'all know yesterday, it was so gloomy, so cold and rainy. I woke up, my whole apartment was illuminated with sunshine. It just, it really made me emotional, y'all. Like, it really did. I was just crying and just thanking God for Jesus because, wow. Like, oh yeah, I'm better now. <laughs> I, um, after I did all of that, had my moment. I edited my video. It's 11.55. Y'all know on Sundays, I try my best to get my videos up at 12. The checks are cleared, so we are ready to go. Um, yeah, today's just going to be a good day. I actually think I'm going to put some makeup on. I have not worn makeup in over a week. I, well over a week. Y'all know I got micro needling when I was in Jacksonville. Um, that was last week and even before then I hadn't been wearing makeup so I have not worn makeup in a long time so I'm excited I'm excited to do my makeup and you know we cooking our Sunday dinner today so I'm just I'm just in a good mood I'm just in a really really good mood I don't know if y'all can hear right now but I'm washing clothes so yeah like everything just going good everything is just it's good so i just wanted to start the day off say happy easter to y'all well it won't be easter when y'all see this but i hope y'all had a great easter let me know down below what y'all did um i listened to a few sermons this morning too while i was editing so yeah i'm just i'm just in a really really good mood today so yeah let me um fill out my description box real quick because it's 11 56 now and i want to get the video up at 12 and i will be back I'm on the way to Publix right now in hopes to get some turkey drumsticks for the dressing. If not, I'm going to just have to cook it without it. I've never made dressing before. This is my mom's recipe, but I don't know like how big of a difference it makes to have the drumsticks. So I hope they got some, but if they don't, we must move on. I think the most important part is like the chicken, the, the broth off the meat. But she said if I can't find it, I can just use chicken broth. So. We'll see. We shall see. Y'all, Publix is closed. I'm going home. Wow. I'm back home because that was a bust. I had no idea that they would be closed today. Um. So yeah. I'm pretty sure Kroger opened, but girl, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Mm -mm, I ain't doing it. It is what it is. I'm about to drink this Celsius. I've never had this kind before. I'm kind of nervous because I don't like cucumber. It's cucumber and lime and it's sparkling. It's just what it looks like. Alright, let's taste it. I look like a boy with no earrings in. But I'm about to do my makeup and... Mmm! I have a pet peeve of like doing my makeup with earrings in because I put makeup on my ears. So, just, ew, 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 ew. I hate it. Let's taste this, and I'm using my cute little cherry straw. One of y'all, one of y'all had commented on this and said these look like balls, and I was like, "You're right, they kind of do." <laughs> All right, let's see. Ugh, heavy on the cucumber. If you like cucumber. You would love this. I'm just going to down it because I want the energy. Mm -hmm. But I don't like this kind. I don't really like the sparkling kind. <sighs> it's so bad. But I'm about to do my makeup. I actually want to make like a reels for Instagram. So, yeah, I won't be recording it. I'll be recording it for Instagram. So, I'll be back. Okay, so, makeup is done. Ooh. Makeup is done. Mm-hmm. Follow me on Instagram, y'all. If y'all don't follow me on Instagram, follow your girl on Instagram. It's 2.57. I'm going to start cooking because not only is it Sunday, but it's Easter Sunday. I know all the families across the world and ate two, three times by now. And I ain't even started cooking. So, let me get started. <laughs> I'm 
scripture is saying if you want people to follow your instructions, you should you should try to come up with some measurements. That's wild. See, when you start telling you from this time right here, then you're going to say, okay, I'm a, I'm a, I know exactly what I did. I'm going to keep doing that. Or you can say, oh, I need to add a little bit more. I should add a little bit more. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I do. But I'm just saying, when it, when it comes to adding vegetable oil, you need to be able to tell a person a teaspoon, a half a cup. No, I, I ain't ain't nobody never told me that. vegetable oil but you don't know how much just just pour she ain't saying how much milk she ain't saying how much oil just figure it out you're on your own so I'm making a dressing right now y'all first you start off with cornbread that's the base well for us at least help me out Moment of silence for the chicken. Yum. I've been cooking and I've been happy about it too like I'm just in a good mood today so usually when I be cooking I just be like I don't be mad but I just be doing it so we can eat but I'm like really cooking with love today for real so I'm about to make some strawberry lemonade I'm gonna smash some strawberries and I'm gonna cut some strawberries I'm trying to see if these still good mmm I don't know. Ooh, that's kind of bitter. I ain't gonna use those. I'm just gonna use the um, new pack I got from Walmart yesterday. So yeah, I cooked lima beans, rice, dressing, cabbage, and the chicken. Y'all, that chicken looks too good. Like, I cannot wait to taste it. I was talking to my sister and my mama earlier. They cook, my cook, my sister cooked brown stew chicken, dressing, 
macaroni yams I think I think I think I think I think so yeah that's what's going on and y'all it's y'all remember how it was here yesterday rainy gloomy that's how it is there so sucks to be them because honey we got sunshine and butterflies today so, yeah I'm just gonna make and y'all this is not homemade strawberry lemonade here I got um I got this lemonade, which is this even expired? It expires April 10th, 2023. So that means I've had this for a long fucking time because y'all know stuff like this be like lasting for a long time. But yeah, I'm just gonna make the lemonade with that and then I actually do got a lemon and so I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice and I'm gonna spruce it up myself. You know what I mean? I'm gonna spruce it up myself. That's what I like to do. Like, I buy some, I was I'm trying to think. Like, I do sometimes like box macaroni. I, if I don't feel like cooking like macaroni, because it's a long process and that shit be expensive, I'll buy like box macaroni and then I'll spruce it up. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'll be back. Probably finna watch a YouTube video and finish making this straw. Get the, get off of my damn hair. So yeah, y'all. <laughs> Making this strawberry lemonade, so I'll be back. And I know these niggas not supposed to be done in a trap, but see how we throw it up. Fall, fall, while my niggas throw it up. So I said the strawberry lemonade right there. And look at this, it's so cute. So cute. And yes, I got that rabbit yesterday from Target. I'm at Walmart because I'm um, cheesy. But yeah, so cute. It's gonna keep our mind off not eating right now. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it is five. Y'all probably can't see five forty-six. Still ain't eight, but y'all can watch me whip him up real quick. Alexa, stop. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Hey. Oh, I can see taking the dressing out the oven. It's time. I don't give a fuck if it's time or not. What's wrong? It's coming out. It do grow. Don't touch that stove. The food looks good, don't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now we just got that meat heating up. Turn that cabbage on. That camera not rolling, is it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm fucking up big time right now. What? It gets everywhere. What? Nothing. What happened? Nothing, see? <laughs> you was, you, <laughs> you was shuffling sloppy? Yeah. See, you all shot. You trying to do too much, homie? Marcus look good. CW look good. You're trying to do too much. We can you can add a shot to your drink I just made. Your specialty drink. Mm. Are you ready? Yeah. Cut. Man, what is going on? Okay. Let me hear you make some notes. I love playing with no um with one person. I'm gonna cross it up. You're not counting as you passing up? Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, let's just play with eight. How many you got? Okay, I'm gonna restart the camera. We're gonna see how long this game takes. Okay, game starting now. Reverse back to me. Boy, it's 
So we playing with these? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, color green. Damn! What's color the color? Blue. Jerby? Blue. Go. Damn! Oh, you showing sure up for the camera now. Go. No, I know you fucking lie. I know you fucking lying right now. Go. What the? Oh, hell no. I know you fucking lying. I know. I know. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Wait. Stop. Whoa. Reverse back to me. So it's my turn. Let me go through my cards. I might put that down. Um, fuck! Reverse back to me. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Out! No, I said it, bro. bro I, bro, right in the camera, bro. I said it bro, first. Just you lost. No! <laughs> I don't want to play no more. So that's the chicken and rice. We got some cabbage, and y'all don't judge my this dress that I did something wrong, but it is what it is. Um, I'm about to bust the fuck open. I'm full. I'm about to take this makeup off. So I can get comfortable. Probably take this makeup off, take me a shower, and chill out, smoke me some hookah. And I also gotta edit tonight. Uh, I gotta edit because I gotta turn this vlog in in the morning. Um, before they ask, where the vlog at? I'm gonna have it turned in already. Oh yeah. <sighs> so yeah, I'll take this pop off. Yo, look back on the boogie with cats used to harmonize like Yo, yo, yo. My men and my women, don't forget about the day. Is it out the most the king? Yo, it's about a thing. Uh, yeah, feel yo, real good with your hands what, in the air uh, and lick two shots uh, in the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. fresh and so clean clean took me a shower I did my skincare my skincare y'all use so many good products like y'all know I love the youth to the people cleanser absolutely love that y'all know I love that Peter Thomas Ruff, Dr. Penny Tony uh, Dr. Penny Dr. Peter Thomas Gross I believe that's his name um, 24 karat mask. I just feel like it just makes my skin glow and I just absolutely love that. Then I use the, um, Notorium or Natrium. I have to figure out how to say that brand. But I use their body wash, the vitamin C one. That was my first time using that one. Loved it. Then that was my first time using the Saltair Centaur. It smells so good. I'm gonna have all this stuff linked down below because you need it. Then I finished it up with the Santal Pink Beach. Yeah, Pink Beach Oil. And now I'm going to put on, I think I'm going to put on Bubble Bath Spray Perfume. I'm going to put on Bubble Bath Perfume by Replica. And we about to edit and smoke some hookah and just chill out for the rest of the night. Like, that's what we about to do. The sun is so bright right now. I'm sitting right in front of my window. But it's getting ready to set in a little bit. But yeah, I'm just chilling. Why did I just export this footage to edit? And I remember I made devil eggs, y'all. What? I'm about to eat these. These is dessert. 
in a cold yum. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, I'm kind of tired. Kind of sleepy. Girl, your girl is tired. I really wanted to get this video edited, but I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do it early in the morning. And I really should. I really could just edit. Um. I mean, shit. Hmm. I'm really just finna edit the part for the brand. Because that's what everybody else do that work with this brand. I'm just finna edit the part for the brand and send them that. Because at least I can have that done, you know? At least, yeah, now I'll be able to hold up my end of the bargain. Because right now... I'm still recording for this vlog. Like, this is going into this vlog. And right now, on this computer, it's 2 hours and 12 minutes and 17 seconds. I'm not doing that shit tonight. I'm, I'm not doing that. I haven't even smoked no hookah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to just edit the part, their part, and I'm going to send it over. And then I have it in the morning. And then, yeah, that'll be that. I'm going to also... My iPad. I'm going to also write down my morning. My my day for tomorrow. I'm going to do my planning tonight. So that I can know what I want to do tomorrow. So. Monday the 10th. We're going to do some planning. So I can know like. What I want to get done. But I'm really just here to do the to-do list. Of all the things I want to get done tomorrow. And it don't, have, it don't have to be like big things. It can be big, small, whatever. Like this is yours. You can write what you want. So first and foremost. Ew no. I don't want to do pink. I meant. I don't want to do purple. Blue. I want to do pink. Because I like pink. So first to do this is make bed and then I need to um I need to call the dentist to make sure my appointment is still on for the 20th because I hate calling people so I need to make this a priority. Look what I found when I was cleaning my room. I found all of this stuff. Y'all remember when I oops when I used to have my boutique? I never even opened this stuff or tried to sell it. So many wait, you still kinda cute now. Look at all these earrings. I'm actually gonna keep a little pair of these. I like these. Yeah, all of these earrings. These two, these kind of cute too. I'm keep us pair of these too. These were like um, bracelet sets, like three bracelets in there. All of this stuff. These used to be my favorite lashes. Look at these big ass lashes. Ever since I started wearing individuals, I, I bruh. No, no. I used to sell these hookah tips, which I'll keep one of those too. These lashes. What else is in here? Look at all these lashes. Oh, I used to sell these uh, head wraps for like your um, wigs and stuff. Like, bro, look at this, y'all. Look at all of these wraps. One day I was just like, mm, I'm not going to do this no more. Oh, this was the child the latest design this is my logo <laughs> i got so many what else in here more hookah tips shipping bags what is all oh, this what i used to put the these in what else just so much stuff in this bag oh I'm finna try one of these hookah tips right now because I'm about to smoke hookah. 
But yeah, y'all, all of this stuff. So cute. Good morning, y'all. We about to call um, the dentist. Make sure my appointment is still on. And I forgot what time it's supposed to be, too. Page. My name is Chelsea Walker. I was calling because I know I have an appointment coming up, but I couldn't remember the time of it in the day. So could you look that up for me? Yes, ma'am. Can I get your name and date of birth? Okay. I see you have an appointment on the 19th at 10 a.m. Oh, it's the 19th. Okay. At 10 a.m. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope you have a great day. You as well. Bye-bye. Um, why did I think the appointment was the 20th? Let me fix that in here right now. I thought I was lying about not knowing the date, but I really didn't know the date. Wow. I feel like, like every vlogger has like their spot in their house or apartment that they be at most of the time. This is definitely my spot. This Oh, I'm, ooh, I'm gonna put these earrings in from last night. I have put these in, but let's put these in. This is definitely my spot. I be here all the time, on, a, on and off camera, y'all. These earrings are so cute. I would buy these from the store, and they look like, look at the class. So cute. I'm just honestly, I don't know. These are cute. Okay. Wait, these are cute. Look how cute. Anyways, what did I come on here to say? Oh, I came on here to say I have something I want to show y'all. A package came that, uh, it came when I wasn't vlogging like earlier last week. But let me show y'all. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I also got some stuff downstairs. Um, where am I going to put y'all at? Oh, I just got another package. All the packages coming today. Mm-mm. This purchase was influenced by this girl named Hunter who I follow on TikTok. This is her second time influencing me to buy something. Um, she's the reason why I bought that like Bottega Jody, the big ones, the black one and the brown one. She was the reason why I bought that bag. She had posted that. Let me just show y'all. Let me show y'all the girl. She had posted that um, Bell Cat a dupe. And I went to buy it and yeah she she does like luxury stuff her name is hunter i believe to be a really good dupe in a deal and i want to share with you guys a little bit of a backstory i was watching one of the purse blog bag spotting videos and for those that don't know purse blog is literally or it used to be a blog and they reinvented themselves here on tiktok and they do what they would call bag spotting where they kind of see designer bags out in the wild i was watching one of their videos and i came across this bag hold on i'm going to show you this bag here I shared it as a mini Kelly, but it's actually a dupe, and this is no shade to them because I don't believe that they knew that it was a dupe when they saw it. You're probably thinking to yourself, Hunter, how do you know that it's a dupe? Because I bought it. So the bag in the video and the bag that I bought is from Lillian Bean. It's okay. Okay. So basically, she bought a um the bag from the brand and then i bought a bag from the brand because i was obsessed she bought this beautiful color orange and i really like that orange but i just bought the freaking loewe bag in orange so i'm like you can't get an orange bag so i got a bag that i don't have a color in and they're like little kelly dupes and never i've never like you know like some girls dream bags it's like a birkin or a kelly mine was my chanel bag i've never desired to have one but after getting this dupe I don't know. 
So the brand is Lily and Bean. This is what the dust bag looks like. I don't even know if y'all can see it. But that's what the dust bag looked like. One thing I really like about this brand is the fact that you're able to customize your stuff. I didn't get this bag customized, but my second item I got from this brand, I did get customized. And what I mean by customized is you can get your initials put on it. Y'all, look how cute. This is the cutest little bag. Like, it looks so expensive. It has like white trimming, gold hardware. She has feet. We love that. I didn't open it up, so let's open it up together. So, open it up. It has all the little, um, all the little stuff. Oh, and it comes with a strap. So in love with this bag. I think it's so cute and well made. Um, I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. So cute and I don't have a bag this color so that's why I got this color and of course I couldn't just stop there I had to continue to look on their website but this next thing I got I'm completely obsessed with so a couple vlogs ago I was telling y'all about my Louis Vuitton um niece mini that I carry all my makeup in I was like I want something a little bit bigger that I could put like skincare in and probably my makeup brushes and y'all this I did put my um I did customize. So it's this black little vanity and it has CJ on it for Chelsea Janae. It has a top handle and it's just it's a travel bag. I'm able to put my stuff in it. Let me show y'all. It opens like this, it has a zipper right there, and it came with these two pouches, and it's just I love this. This was like $49. I think this will look really good with my niece mini like as a set. So I'm so happy to have this. And this came in multiple different colors. You didn't have to get black. And so did the bag. It came in so many different colors. But like I said, I don't have a bag this color. That's why I decided to go with this one. And this is just so cute. Like this is honestly the cutest bag I've ever seen in my life. It's as two so y'all know my like little water hydration thing when I drink a whole thing of this I'm marking off two because I just feel like this is two my rose oh y'all are going dead not send this wig because I am not taking my braids out to do no damn hair review and they did they're gonna have to wait I am child please I just got these damn braids I'm not taking my braids out completely y'all swear I forgot I ordered this stuff from Gal I ordered this. Okay, so this was not the color it looked online. I don't even think I like this color pink. I ordered this like oversized gap sweatshirt. Yeah, it don't say like gap or nothing on it. And then I ordered the shorts as well. Look like it might be cute though, so I'm gonna still try it on. But yeah, we'll try that on in a second. What? 
yeah they just do some shit in here because this is a extra small five six gap shirt and this is a another one random that's not this is not mine I did order this though for Sebastian I ordered him a gap sweater fuck this is too big I'm gonna have to return this I ordered I ordered a size large this is so big like I probably could fit this I thought this would have been so cute Yep, I ordered a large. You need like a medium or a small. This is, I'm still gonna try it on them now. Then, back in Body Works a couple days ago, they had like, um, buy one, get one on the candles. Y'all know I have been waiting on that because I found that scent that I absolutely love. So I got eight candles, all in the same scent. Hopefully none are broken. Mmm, I can smell the scent. Oh, smells so good. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And all the candles are the same scent. I'm just about, I'm about to burn one right now. I want to try this little pink gap outfit on. Even though it's not the color I thought it was. Like I knew it was pink. I just thought it was a, a different shade of pink. This wig back in that bag to be continued. This set is so cute, y'all. I love the top. Like, I love how the sleeves are. And it's like a thick material, but not thick to where you'll be hot. This is cute. Wait. This is cute. I like this. Like, you know, running errands, chilling. The shorts are like short, but they're not like too short. And most of all, I love where the sleeves top at. Because y'all know I got that awful tattoo on my arm and it covered it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm about to order more colors. Because I like this. I like this. And I kind of like took the shirt under because it has like this. Let me show you. It has like this band so I kind of just like folded it under. Wait, this is cute. I like this. Yeah. Mm hmm. Running earrings. Oh, LTD. <laughs> I like this a lot. And this is from Gap. So I'll have it linked down below. And I believe it was like 40% off. Mm hmm. Look at this color set. This is so cute. I already got that one in my cart. And then I'm also going to get black. That green is not my thing. I honestly wouldn't have ordered that pink. Because I didn't know it was that color pink. But. I guess. And then the shorts. Okay so I got both sets. Which is four different pieces. For $109. Which is not bad at all. Because y'all this stuff is. Good material. It's going to last. It's thick. So yeah, I'm definitely finna get that. So if y'all are interested, oh shit. If y'all are interested, I'll have it down in the description box. Y'all know it's about to get hot out here. Yeah, I know it's about to get hot. And that is just the perfect like throw on set. Like you can dress it up. You can, you know, put like some chunky gold earrings in with it with a cute slide and a cute little bag. Or you can do like, you know, tennis shoes and some studs. Like whatever you want to do. It's up to you. I decided I'm just going to end this vlog here because I do need to start another vlog. And I got things I need to do that I want to do in the other vlog. So, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did and you're new, definitely consider subscribing. I would love to have you a part of my family. And if you are not new and you've been here, thank you so much for watching, girl. Love y'all so much. Thank you so much for supporting me. And... I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Psych. Bye.